Mr. O'Donnell. You know, I couldn't agree more uh, with Mary Beth or John and John's comments. Uh, uh, Mr. Harvey's performance was extremely disappointing uh, last night. But let me try to add a little meat to the bone because Mary Beth raises a particularly important point. The, um, uh, the county has the property assessed at $16,500,000 and some change. Uh, applying our current millage rate, uh, that generates over $300,000 for Gateway School District. Over a 10-year <coughs> period, it accrues to more than three million plus dollars for Gateway School District. There's also $160,000, assuming it transfers at, at or sells at, at 16 million, uh, $160,000 uh, transfers tax or stamp that, uh, that is, is, is allocated between the municipality and the school district. There's also a mercantile tax that's estimated to be somewhere in the neighborhood of forty or fifty thousand uh, dollars per year that taxpayers would not receive if we're not able to move forward with this initiative. And these kinds of impediments um, really beg understanding. This board has been diligent, has worked more than a year on the initiative that we're talking about now. We have kept the taxpayer and the students and the forefront, um, uh, unlike other decisions, well, I shouldn't say unlike other, but the other decisions didn't result in taxable entities except for one. Now, the, uh, the, the borough also gets four mills per, so that's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 or 50,000, how much? 65,000. 65,000 dollars, $650,000 over 10 years, assuming there's no millage increase on the part of the board or the municipality. It really seems, it's difficult for me to understand why a councilman or uh, councilwomen won't move forward and assist the school board to rezone this property uh, so that we can derive the 20% additional benefit uh, that Mary Beth spoke to. Now, finally, what also wasn't discussed at that meeting was that no matter who purchases the property, and regardless of the use, it has to go before the municipality. So they're going to have the final decision as to whether or not they want to permit the intended use uh, to go forward. And so the kinds of things that were raised uh, last night we're just simply baffling. We're, we're trying to save taxpayer money. We're trying to advance the, um, the initiatives that need to be advanced. We're talking about 60 and 65 year old facilities. We haven't raised taxes in what, two, three years? Um, I think this board and quite honestly past boards have been particularly attentive to the issue of taxpayer dollars. Now they're walking away from or and, and quite honestly, uh, uh, what could amount to millions of dollars. And all we're asking for is a rezoning effort. A rezoning that's been approved by their rezoning board. A rezoning that was approved by their planning commission. Yeah. That's correct. So um, I, too, was at that meeting disappointed. Mary Beth makes excellent points. John makes excellent points. Uh, I think the public should know and maybe pick up the phone and call their council uh, person and, and let them know they don't uh, they don't want to lose this revenue for the district. Um, one other thing that I wanted to raise. 